What is up guys, Jeffrey Gaming here, welcome back to my F1 2014 career mode, we're in Season 2, Round 3 at the night race in Bahrain and here we are in Q3, our first attempt. Uh, this time I haven't gone for the traditional, uh, just leave the lap till the end of the session, this time I've gone for a uh, first run, just for a bit of a sight to see how we do. Bahrain isn't one of our better tracks I must say and it's, I've got to admit it's pretty tough on the wheel. So let's come to the line and see what we can do compared to Hamilton. We are half a second off. Up into third though, that is pretty good, I'll take that. Here's the second run. We have been knocked down to sixth. Ricardo's up there in third. Hulkenberg's ahead of us as well, so hopefully we do get ahead here. Throwing it into the final corner, which we didn't do on the first lap. Surely we've gained time from this. Can we move ourselves up the grid? We really need this. And it is all... Oh, we haven't even moved up. We improved by about two tenths, and now we're just behind Hulkenberg. That was so close, but we're half a second off Ricardo, which is very concerning. Looks like we don't have the pace at the moment to keep up with our teammates. He seems to be mixing it up with the Mercedes, so not the best qualifying session there. But we can make up for it on race day, Sunday um, night. But here we go, five lights, and away we go. We haven't got the best to get away, but it doesn't look like cars are streaming past us. There's one on the left. I think that's Felipe Massa. We've got a Ferrari on the right. We're breaking late. We've touched Alonso there. We didn't mean to do that. And the two Ferraris have come together. Raikkonen is going incredibly slow. What's he doing over there? We're trying to squeeze our way through. Up to sixth, we've got a Williams on the left. Raikkonen is just wiggling around like there's no tomorrow. I don't know if he's got damage from Alonso. Up the inside of Hulkenberg, up into fifth place. Needed to be done. Make up as many positions as you can at the start, which is very key. We are ahead of the Force India. But we really need to be mixing it up with the Mercedes and our teammate. So a move on Alonso right now is key. I just thought, screw it. Rich mix has been used. I'm going to just chuck it up the inside and see what happens. Little move on Alonso. We've got the break in perfectly. The AI, not so much, which I will definitely be mentioning in this video. And we're up into fourth, but the top three are starting to pull away, so we've got to try and keep up with them. But in this period of the race, I was pretty much alone. There wasn't too much happening. The main battle was ahead. The three guys ahead are just battling really hard. And I don't know why Ricardo's nearly gone off the track, but Alonso's on my tail, but he's not troubling me too much. And I'll take far too much curb there. But it's the front three battling which is keeping me intact and I actually do close up. I have decent pace but it's it's not enough to be faster than the three cars ahead. Look at the battles ahead, they're slung each other up so much and I'm just on the back of my teammate Ricardo. Thinking about a move coming down into turn three. Is it turn three? Yes I think it is. Too far back for a move here but I break later than Ricardo and almost hit the back of him. I made sure not to turn in because I would have hit Ricardo and probably taken off my front wing. So that was a bit close. But lap 9, everyone else had pitted and I was struggling right now. I tried to stretch the option stints because the first two races on the primes I've had no pace whatsoever. So I wanted just like 10 laps on the primes if, or 11 if possible. But yeah, the tyres were gone. Lap 7, I, I could have pit then. Lap 8 wasn't... It wasn't the best, but it was acceptable. But this lap was so slow. Ragnar and Bottas had caught up to me. And I'm coming in. I'm going for the aggressive strategy. A decent stop there from the guys. Onto the options right now. As other cars are going onto the primes. So where are we going to come out? Sixth. Massa is ahead. Has he pit? That is a question. I'm going to have to bring up the leaderboard. The race director even. To see what the hell is going on. Surely I'm not in sixth. Let's have a look. Oh wow, I am. And it's only me, Hulkenberg and Bottas really on the options. I can't see the others battling, but we need to we need to get past Massa. I just couldn't catch up for some reason on the uh, first lap, but I, I thought about going for a move there. Massa gave me some room, but this is my opportunity. Going up to Rich Mix, can I get past? I need to be getting past these prime runners, because I'll be getting the undercut and potentially could be in the lead for the final stint. Going up the inside, it's really close. Great wheel-to-wheel -wheel action there, but we get past our form former teammate Felipe Massa. I'm sure he gave us more room this time instead of when we were teammates. But now my potential next victim is Alonso. You can see Ricardo's getting way a bit, and he's only on the primes. It's Hulkenberg that's struggling. 
he should be battling for the lead, but he doesn't seem to have the pace on the options. But I'm starting to make them work. Closing up on Alonso here. DRS, we're getting really close. Should be an easy overtake into the first corner. Here we go, outbreaking Alonso. Should be done, hit the apex. Yes, that's nicely done up to third. Hopefully we can dispatch Hulkenberg as quick as possible as Raikkonen send the fastest lap of the race. And yeah, it was pretty easy to catch up to Hulkenberg. His tyres... He mustn't have had the pace on the option tyres. I don't know if they've gone off, if he's used too much of them too soon. But this, it's such an easy overtake. DRS around Bahrain is just far, far too overpowered on the start finish straight. I suppose I could say that for most tracks, but this was just a simple overtake. Up into second place, and now we're about two or three seconds behind our teammate Ricardo. But I made this stint last in nine laps, which con considering on the first stint, I was struggling on the ninth lap, but I did a pretty good job. The tyres felt so much better. I was closing in on Ricardo, but it was now time to pit. And now we're going to have an 11 lap stint on the primes. But we are going to get the undercut on a lot of cars here, so this is our opportunity. Let's see how the pit stop goes. 3.7, of course. Pretty standard by now. So hopefully we don't come out in traffic. Looks like, yeah, free space. There's a couple of cars ahead, but this shouldn't cause too much bother if they pit in the next couple of laps. So I'm on the primes here till the end. Most of the cars around me will be on the options. So, let's see. Ricardo's coming out the pits. We're up to second. And that could effectively mean we've taken the lead. Rosberg's still yet to pit, but he's about 18 seconds ahead. Skipping to the next lap. And there we go. We've taken the lead. The undercut has worked for once, going on to the prime tyres. If you go back to my videos in Australia and Malaysia, you'll see the undercut just didn't work at all. The primes just weren't working, but Bahrain, it seems to be so much better. But now it's just a defensive job because the cars around me are all on the options. Hamilton, Rosberg and Ricardo. It's a four-way battle for the lead. Hamilton send the fastest lap of the race. I keep taking far too much curb at turn two, so I need to watch out for that. But Hamilton only catches up to me on the DRS straight. That's the only way it seems like he's going to get past. And I just keep doing the same move. Defend the first corner. That's the key thing. And potentially defend turn three if Hamilton attacks. But looks like Ricardo's got ahead of Hamilton. Could this be a 1-2 for the Red Bull? But Ricardo's on the attack. He doesn't have as much straight line speed. So he will not be making a move there. Looks like he's going to be wide though. So he might be under attack from Hamilton. And f fastest lap of the race there from Alonso. He is slowly joining this battle. It could be a 5 car battle for the lead <sighs> three laps to go Hamilton's on my inside I didn't think he'd go for a move here but he did is he gonna maintain it no he's not I'm gonna keep it around the outside solidly defended once again I'm just trying to get this win I'm so desperate for this win it would be an awesome feeling and I'm defending against the best cars and drivers in the field once again into turn three I hope that's turn three otherwise I've been saying it wrong for most of this video but I cracked. I cracked for the first time in this race. I made a mistake. Tricky corner that is it turn seven. Going breaking late. Locking up. And Hamilton hit me. I don't know if he's got any damage. I don't know why he's going to the far left. But I've got uh, marbles on my tyres. So we'll not have the best grip going into the final sector. Yeah. Not the best <laughs> line there. We're losing a bit of time. But once again Hamilton came back for more. Penultimate lap. Is he going to get past? Defending once again into turn one. It's pretty much the same thing again. It's great defending for myself. I really want this victory. Or did we make contact there? I'm not too sure. Hamilton was on my inside. But it might have been a bit of oversteer from the curb. And this time it's Rosberg. So much press pressure from the two Mercedes. Is he going to get past? He's further ahead than Hamilton ever got. Breaking later. We're sticking ahead, are we? Yes, we are once again. But look, there's two Mercedes and a Red Bull right behind us. This is going to be an intense final lap. Magnussen set the fastest lap. Just shows how much I'm holding people up. Final lap, we're lapping the Marussia there. But it looks like the Mercedes are battling each other instead of attacking me. What are they doing? Who's going to be in second place, it looks like? And my tyres are starting to go. I'm getting oversteer. Not the best grip. Rosberg's closing in. He's got the better of Hamilton. He's going up the inside of me. No, we can't lose it now. But he breaks slightly too early. We've gone around the outside. We've got a gap of a couple of seconds now, pretty much. Could this be the victory? It really should from this point. 
This is going to be a fantastic feeling. Third race into my career. Uh, second season and it's with the Red Bull team. Third race and it's a victory. Coming to the line. Feeling fantastic. Get in there. What a feeling. What a feeling. From the start of the weekend, if you'd said I would have won the Bahrain Grand Prix, I would never have believed you. What a defensive drive in the final stint. You can see how close it was. The top eight drivers were divided by less than five seconds. And there's some different names up there. Raikkonen fifth, Button sixth. Hulk, uh, Hulkenberg's always up there. Magnussen eighth. But yeah, that was a fantastic race. First victory. So happy right now. Hope you enjoyed that video. Please leave a like if you did. Alonso didn't finish. I didn't even realise. <laughs> oh yeah, he was in that battle and then suddenly disappeared. Grosjean also didn't finish. So let's see the Drivers' Championship. And we have really caught up now. One point behind our teammate Ricardo. Only eight off the lead. So this could be a fantastic championship battle. I think realistically it's going to be between the two Red Bull and the two Mercedes, but you never know, Alonso could uh, put a surprise in there, but his DNF here has hurt his challenge, though it's only three races in. On to the Constructors, that's definitely going to be interesting between Red Bull and Mercedes, and there we go, it's only three points per between us so once again it's going to be an epic battle Ferrari could pull a surprise but Raikkonen's got to pull his socks up and look at Williams my old team struggling down in sixth place with eight points they really need my points but here we are celebrating we're getting out the car what a victory hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks for your support through this series and I hope to catch you in the next video and that will be the Chinese Grand Prix so I'll see you then goodbye